And if you've always wanted to create with Blender Geometry Nodes and you're looking for a good set of generators that you can get as a bundle, then the BP GeoGen Ultimate Generator Bundle from the folks at Blender Procedural might be the right one for you as this comes with 50 drag and drop generators that you can work with directly from your asset browser as the folks at Blender Procedural have put all of this together to help you work easy. And for those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can grab it as this comes with three different types of generators that you'll be working with and we'll be exploring all of that today. And with that said, let's dive right into it. So Blender simply open up right here, all you need to do to get things going is to go over to edit, go over to preference and within your file path you need to add the BP GeoGen to your asset library. And to do this is as simple as clicking on the plus button, locate where you've extracted the BP GeoGen and you can add that to your asset library. Once you have that done, click on the bugger menu and save preference. Now with the preference window closed, we can drag out the new panel and switch this from 3D viewport all the way to asset browser. Now within the asset browser, if you click on the all drop down, you would notice we have the BP Jojen. This Jojen has three generator types that I would like you guys to know about. Some generators affect the principal model that you're working on. So for example, if we simply pick up a chain and drop that chain generator on this model, you'd notice that it respects the model and it simply applies a new generation on the model that we're working on. If we go ahead and hide Susan, and we open up a simple cube, click and drag that, you'd also notice the very same thing. This is one of the generator types that exist. And with this generator type, you can make manipulations or changes to the model piece that you're working on and the generator would simply adapt to it, thereby respecting the principal model overall. And this applies to things like the cable generator, the fire generator, which is super useful, especially if you want to create fire on a model, probably want to set a model on flames and all of these type of generators which do not manipulate but build based off the principal model they do have various forms of parameters that you can explore the second type of generators that you find here are generators that do not regard the principal model rather they create a whole new model piece based off the generator itself and we're looking at generators like the aircraft gen so for example if we pick up this aircraft gen and plug this onto the model you would notice that automatically this creates a whole new model so it doesn't matter whether you're starting with a high dense model a low dense model this just simply needs a geometry to be based off. So if we simply select that and go all the way down to where we have the properties, you'd also notice that we have different properties that we can also use to make changes to this. So you can toggle through all of them and to each of them you're toggling through, you're creating new model piece as you proceed. And this is the same thing for most of the other ones as well. So for example, if we also go all the way down, I think we do have things like the spaceship gen, which is also another cool one, which you can use. And this in itself also creates new model once you toggle through. So you can toggle through these and get new models and for both the properties and everything, you can make changes right here. And you can also go over to the shader editor and make some changes as well. Now, these ones are generators that simply manipulate the principal model that you have and create a whole new model piece altogether. And this is the same for the rock generator, the planet generator, the ice spike generator, the galaxy generator, hologram generator, dungeon generator, crate generator, car gen, bush gen, and the antenna gen. Now, the third type of generator that you find here is pretty interesting. Now, this one deals more with the wall and the stair generator. So in this case, what you need is a simple cube, probably a simple plane, you know, whatever works for you, but make sure that it is something that you can model. So in this case, we're going to use a cube and we can apply the wall generator to it. If we jump over to the edit mode, we can now start scaling this back and forth. Depending on what we want to create at the end of the day, this is totally up to us. Now, in this case, we're just going to do a couple of extrudes. And once we have this done, we can switch over to cycles and get this rendered. And with this rendered, you can now see what we have. So if you're thinking about using this, probably you like to create some castle-like things like that, probably castle-like walls. Of course you can. You can also grab onto these ones, go all the way to your properties and start making some changes to the model. One thing which I would suggest is certain changes are best done before switching to the renderer. And one suggestion which I will give to the developer is in subsequent releases, maybe these generators may need to be categorized. Although to be fair, in this case, if you take a look at this, you would notice that all of the ones that are not affecting the principal model, they still have the shape of the principal model, which in this case, the sample shape is Suzanne the monkey. So in this case, this is how you know which of them would not alter the geometry 
but in subsequent releases maybe a catalog that actually defines these things might be useful. So this is it for those who are thinking about exploring the BP Jojen Ultimate Generator Bundle. This is currently available and this offers you 50 drag and drop generators that you can use to start building your scene today. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.